Hello everyone and welcome to Dyson Sphere program. This is an early access 0.9.26 and I'm playing it because the Steam sale is going on right now and I realized that I didn't really have any games that I desperately wanted in the sale because I had so many games in my library that I already have sitting there that I have not played, this being one of them. And so instead of just getting a whole lot more games that I'm not going to play, I decided that during the Steam sale I will actually play some games and I get, perhaps give people an idea whether they may, might want it or not during the sale. So this one has outstanding reviews, it's outstandingly positive, so I decided to give it a go first. And let's see what happens. I have no idea. Uh, it's, uh, it's more of a strategy construction kind of game as far as I can tell. Not my normal sort of thing necessarily. But we'll see. I normally am I'm actually piloting vehicles around is my sort of thing. But we'll see. So there's a seed and number of stars 64. That's small. I'm used to Stellaris size at least. Uh, or maybe Elite. Who knows. Resource multiplier. We'll just keep everything exactly as it has. And start game. Well, well there's a little ship. Okay. Oh, I can turn the camera. Well, it's making me feel a little bit better about life Welcome since I have a little ship. Actual universe. Actual you may universe. Find it's different from our homeland. Homeland? Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time? I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Okay. All right, that's a little bit close to the sun, but maybe this is elite style. Maybe you're picking up some fuel. Okay. Well, I can't go any faster. Everything here is yours. Wow. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. Oh, we're... I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Oh, so we're basically an AI agent kind of thing, and uh, so there's a Cosmo brain or whatever they call it. Okay, so I can actually control this thing. <laughs> wonder if I go somewhere else, what will happen? They'll probably not be pleased. Well, okay, that's roll actually. All right. Well, the mouse can. Hmm. Now you oh, are that's about steering. to reach the designated. Planet. Oh, it's controlling it now. I guess we are actually going into orbit. Oh, it looks like a nice planet. Trees does. Do we need trees on a planet that we're going to exploit to create a Dyson sphere? It seems like we should try to exploit planets that don't have life on them, right? Well, I guess AI might not care about that sort of thing. If it is AI, I'm not sure. Oh, I've got a this robot. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use I'm the moving arrow keys. It. Or right click on the destination to control its movement. But my this mission, my camera doesn't turn we'll manipulate anymore. Icarus to That's oh I need to use the wheel. And create miracles. Create miracles. This uh this robot if it is a robot, is very strident. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. I I want the space capsule though, but okay, right click. You can use the same operation to collect resources. I don't see the progress tree, of gravel, the etc. recycling. In the meantime, Should I just wait? hold down shift and right click to give a series of oh, commands. Oh, no, it's done. Ingots, we get ingots. You receive like, several uh, items Skyrim. after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to well, view them. Well, E will be fine. Copper ingot, magnet, iron ingot, hydrogen fuel rod. Interesting choice. Iron, I would not have expected. Okay. We've got uh, energy down you can there. Hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah, okay. Boop, 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 boop. Can we zap these? I guess it's right click, maybe? Copper ore. I don't suppose this could go any faster. This says, says 33,500 there. Menu, which 
will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tech tree, tree at the bottom right of the screen to open wow, the technology it's pounding tree in the background. and activate a research. Well, I guess we should definitely activate electromagnetism since we can't get anything else without electromagnetism, which sort of makes sense. Lack of research items. There's a recipe and we need magnetic coil, which means, well, which also makes sense for electromagnetism. So we need to combine the copper and the magnets, which we already have. Okay, so, um, right. So how do we do that? Replicator? Maybe replicator. Ah, magnet, magnetic coil. All right, produce. How many did we need again? Oh, I guess I should use the multiplier. Oh, Mecha's energy, energy core is, is required oops. in all Mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be We need to refuel. You can click the Mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the Mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory. Or selected on well, let's see, uh, maybe one of these it. things. A wind turbine, copper ore, we mine, Tesla tower. I guess maybe the hydrogen fuel rod can refuel the, the mech, maybe? Apparently so. I guess we'll just use it for that. It can now build a mining machine. Hold on, let me do the... Um, the research is already complete there. So that automatically completed basic logistics, but we'll need more stuff, so we'll just wait on these. We should really only research them once we have the stuff, I guess. Okay, now you can now build a mining machine. Sounds like an idea. Whoa. I guess that'll be a good way to get copper if it needs resources, though. It should probably have this, like, in red if we can't actually build it. And I think we need those, uh, that circuit board kind of thing and some more of the electromagnets and gears and, okay. So, replicator. Well, not thrilled with these sorts of, uh, production games, to be honest. Uh, okay, we need two of those. We need two more magnetic coils. Oh, we don't have enough stuff for magnetic coils. We have one magnet. Uh, iron ore can produce a magnet. Hmm, we don't have iron? I thought we did. I guess we used it for something else. Hmm, well, we'll have to mine some iron. They've left us on our own, so now we... We've already got a mining machine here in our inventory. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for R. covering more veins. The more veins covered, the well, faster Well, I think we need iron. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Well, let's put some there. Oh, there's One no power? One production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain... Well, we had some works. in our inventory already. We had a Tesla tower and we have a wind turbine. Let's just start with the wind turbine. Oh, uh, I wonder if that's... Insufficient required items. You can click the replicator button at the bottom right of the screen oh, to open the panel. That's too far away. replicate these items. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities. Uh, it's power not close enough. Area. I hear some other tower pounding. Extend the area of the power grid. Okay. Well, Tesla tower. I you hear some other stuff. Building the first power transmission facility. Um, Tesla tower. I might need to move if you that. Carry out short distance wireless How power do I move things? And expand the power supply area of the power grid. I would like to move this. I did not put it in a sufficiently good place. Well, anyway, let's see. Maybe. We just need one electromagnet and some uh, metal, some iron ingots. 
I just need to find some iron, really. I think maybe this iron over here? Yeah, it is. Let me just gather some iron. I definitely need the machine. This is really slow otherwise. Okay. Well, that should give us the ability to make some magnets. I apparently need quite a lot of magnets, so... It says the maximum that we can produce right there, I think. I want eight magnets. Okay, and we needed some of these gears. And that's if we want another mining machine, which I do. So if I want another Tesla tower... Oh, still not enough items? Double click... Double click to open replicator. Oh, uh, I guess we have to produce it, that's what it means. I guess that doesn't automatically produce the Tesla tower given the resources we have to use the replicator to produce it. Okay, produce. Okay, now this will be able to place one. And all the Tesla towers are, are basically electric lines, it looks like. It automatically makes the necessary ingots for us if we don't have them. If we have the ore, it'll automatically make the ingots. Okay. Now I want another mining machine. Nope. Nope. Mining machine. Okay. So we can double click and produce the mining machine. And it'll automatically produce the ingots for it. That's nice. That's more convenient. Okay. Don't waste my time. It's good. Okay, and we can optimize our location a little bit. It shows which veins we are going to tap like this. Five of them. And it shows how much will be available if we place it like this. Oh, then it can get all six there. Alright, let's do that. Okay, well, we might need... It was just outside the range, but that's alright. We'll make another one of these Tesla towers. Okay. So that's harvesting. Now that stuff doesn't seem to go automatically into my inventory or anything. In other words, it's harvesting the stuff, but... Product stacking. Okay, where is it stacking? Well, we should be able to make something else. Basic logistics. My, oh, conveyor belts. It's a conveyor belt game. Oh, those conveyor belt games. Okay, activate. No, of course we need more stuff, but I think we can make that stuff. The tutorial person is not talking to me anymore. I don't know what has happened as far as our production is concerned. Take items. Oh, did it actually get all thousands? All those thousands or something? Um, well, I'm clicking left on it, but it doesn't let me take items. I can't drag it into the inventory or anything. No, I don't want to take one one ore at a uh, time, no. Okay. Well, our basic logistics should be done now. Yes, basic logistics system. Conveyor belts, sorters, and storage. Well... You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use All right. the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. There's a smelter? Right now there's just storage. Okay, conveyor belt. Well, we should probably have a sorter. Choose starting facility. I'm just going to produce a bunch of conveyor belts. I'm sure I'll need them. And one sorter. And like we can't get a storage facility because we don't have stone brick. And to get a stone brick, we need stone. Well, let me get some stone. Are you stone? It looks like it. Warm and fuzzy music considering we're building a Dyson Sphere eventually, apparently. Okay, so a storage building we can build. I guess we'll want it within our 
power net. I don't know if that's logical. I don't know where buildings ought to go. Storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. I don't know what the sorter wants. Okay, starting position. Well, well, I guess I don't know what where exactly I want things. Now a sorter. Oh, I guess it can attach to the building. Okay. But the it doesn't like the angle. Oh, now we have a connection. Okay. So, will that stuff go into storage now? So yeah, the conveyor belt is doing nothing for now. Let's see, where do I get smelters? Automatic metallurgy? Yeah, well, an arc smelter. Okay, well we need more of the usual stuff. And we need more inputs for... Okay, we need more magnets, which needs more iron, which for some reason this was not able to give us straightforwardly. Fast take. Control left mouse button. Well, it almost gave me a lot. Looks like there's a maximum of 10 per time on this. Core energy will deplete soon. Okay, well, now, as you see, we don't have anything but those cells we originally got. And we don't have any more. Oh, we got a smelter. I guess we should figure out how to use that first. It's not lost on me that in the tech tree we have these little icons in the upper right and I have no idea how that works. Universe exploration. We have research consumption cubes. But we'll need to make cubes. Okay. Well, I better stay really still so that I don't use more power. Arc smelter. Reduce. I assume one will do for now. You built a smelter, which can yes. smelt basic materials, such as iron Collide with other objects. No, don't do that. While you want to okay, make we now have a connection. Products get in and out of it autonomously. You need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Well, we have a sorter there and conveyor belt. Problem is, how do I get the stuff from the source? Let me move that off a little bit. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the Hold recipe on. you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. I, I look, look, look. I need stuff to get to the smelter. No, oh, anyway, selecting recipe. Um let's say we want Copper ingots, because we can probably get those from the conveyor belt potentially. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Maybe maybe the storage is supposed to be placed near the mining machine? I'm not entirely clear. Maybe then it'll automatically pick it up. Let's see, let's try and get another storage and place it closer. Let's try to direct connect this storage facility, but that doesn't work. By holding down the shift key. Oh, maybe it had to be directly feeding out of the building. Okay, I think that's the idea. Well, I don't know why it's not building oh I don't have enough energy that's why it's not building 
Okay, so now what do I do about energy? Fuel energy into core energy. Gathering trees and plants on the planet can obtain two primary fuels, logs and plant fuel. We can go with coal. I hate when they make us go with coal. It's one of my objections to some of the other games. But I guess we have no choice. I mean, it's ridiculous. Plant fuel. Alright, well, let's see. I am now running on plant fuel. Well, only a little bit, actually. That's consuming really fast. How, how about logs? Do they last longer? A little bit. But boy, do I use it really fast, so... I mean, do I get more energy from it than I use gathering? Three minutes while on the ground. Oh yeah, well, it's been definitely more than three minutes. I have achieved low battery. <laughs> oh, great. Well, now I know why we land on a planet with trees, I suppose. It fluctuates a lot. It doesn't seem to... Oh, but things are being used because I made the conveyor belts and everything. That doesn't seem like a proper connection right there, does it? Okay, now we've got the iron flowing. Uh, maybe I should change the recipe. Let's just have iron ingots. Okay, well, it's all going into storage apparently. It's the wrong way around. Okay, now it's producing the ingots. But we're using way too much power. Um, maybe I shouldn't have all the smelting going on right now. Let's have that be that. This isn't working out right. What? How, how do I reverse the direction of stuff? Jeez. I guess I have to get it right the first time and not... Otherwise, we can't reverse the direction. At least they still let me move and it's not a game ender if you lose power. Well, there's some silicon ore though. Oh, it, it stopped using the logs too. Once it depletes, it doesn't keep them up. Sorry trees, they're making me do this. It's probably still... I don't know what the coal would look like. Don't underestimate plant fuel. Consume at least 100 plant fuel by burning it. I'm still underestimating it, darn it. It's horrible. Okay. We have the copper flowing, we've got the iron flowing, slowly. This seems rather jammed up. It's not doing anything anymore. Um, it has a very low capacity, but we've got this here. Can you just send it out? Maybe we need a separate out port. Uh, no any campfire songs. You can seem at least 40 wood. Don't remind me. It's a sad thing. Okay. So now it's got to send... Hopefully send stuff out. But we're still getting sort of jammed up here. The sorter only is going to send copper ore to this one. But I want it to send not just copper ore. Okay, well, maybe we'll need multiple. I, I probably am not doing this right, but... And this won't be angled too wide. Okay, that's going in like that. And this one... Can also take iron. Let's try that first.
I need faster conveyor belts is what I need. I'm recharging though. How? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I've managed to get all my power back. I mean... Oh, it, it, it was just the wood, huh? Well, let's keep going wood powered then. Okay. Not sure why I need the smelter for when it automatically makes the ironing, but that does take time. Okay, well, glass apparently is a thing. I guess we should just see what the next technology we need is. They haven't told us to do anything else. Um, universe exploration stuff will be interesting. Unlocks electromagnetic matrix. Well, that's what we need to get these uh, upgrades. So, we'll just go in order. Uncue that. But it seems like we need those. Well, we can produce those. I'm confused. I thought I'd unlock those, but... Okay, so... So, from storage, can I take the stuff? Control... Okay. It... Power is an issue. Okay, first of all, let's get some more wind turbines. Too close to another power facility. You know, they do sort of clump these things together. Okay, we got another one. It's auto saving. Apparently, we can only carry a hundred of each item in one sort of spot here. This is producing more of the iron ingots because it's no longer full up on them. I can just pick them up as necessary, but we wanted to make more items for these cubes and so we need more magnetic coils. I don't know what the next sort of milestone is for us. I guess I must be able to run on solar power, which is why the core energy is fully... Because, no, we're sort of still using... Maybe the construction took so much power, and now since we're not constructing anything, it's not so bad. I need to find better power sources, though. Can I go into water? <laughs> I don't know if this water capable. I guess... Oh, we fly over water. Okay. That's good. But that takes a lot more energy. Which is fair. These. Uh, that's just stone. Well, exploring time. I like the exploring. There's a lot more exploring here, I feel. Uh, I'm gonna venture out and everything. Since I've got power. I'm just gonna... I know what a Dyson Sphere is. I've got those done, so I'll just clear those. Um, that's iron over there. Ah, this looks like coal. Yes, this is coal. Okay. So we can just toss that right in, huh? It says each coal has 2.7 megajoules. So it is all very mathematical and everything. Armor customize. Oh dear. Well, let's just leave it be for now. We can change its name. Icarus is not the best name. You can get burned like that. Um, how do I get out of this mode? Okay, but but I I want to go back now. Okay, escape works. The first time I pressed it, it didn't work. But, all right, uh, we need to mine this properly. I've got to set up a new mining thing. But there are clearly supposed to be animals here. I swear. Well, I guess coal you just get from from trees. So maybe there are just trees. But I feel like this is unlikely there we go all right now we've got coal production 
That's as far as we can zoom out, by the way. We can have a very zoomed in view. Uh, uh, copper production is sort of sparse here. Got plenty of copper in there. Um, this is sort of log jammed again because we need to get the whatchamacallit ingots out. I'm just trying to figure it out right now. The storage facility is now getting the ingots, so that'll clear things up on that. Now, um, probably this isn't the high- uh, making iron ingots isn't exactly what we want out of this. Or we could make another smelter. Let's make another smelter. Um, I'm, so, I'm sort of surrounded this storage facility and that might not be the best idea. But okay. New arc smelter. Let's put it over here. Maybe it can make use of stuff one way or another. Okay, what blueprints can we go with here? Stone brick, glass... I guess we don't have steel yet. Okay, we need to do some technology. I, I don't... Okay, this... It's not, but uh, we already have that. This is supposed to unlock the electro. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's because I've still got that queued up. That's why. Okay, okay. Now we've got it. Uh, we need more of those, though. Okay, so it queues up the technologies there. I didn't quite understand that. Okay. Well, we can certainly produce a lot of these, but only 10 at a time. Unless we have a manufacturing facility doing it. Uh, apparently we can use one of these smelters maybe to... Nah, well not those little boards we can't, but there'll be some other facility I'm sure down the road. So then we'll unlock these cubes. And then we can do upgrades like this universe exploration. Able to view vein the veins distribution on the planet. Well, that sounds important. Okay, so now we'll need more of those electric magnet, electromagnets and the uh, boards. Well, ten will do. Ten is exactly what we need. And then we have to make cubes out of them. Exceed a total energy consumption of 16... Oh, sorry, one gigajoule. One gigajoule. We are making cubes. Oh, I wanted 10 actually. Okay. Things are being made. It is rather convenient as far as these sorts of games are concerned. The the lower level view of some other games makes things rather cumbersome sometimes. Matrix lab. I can make a matrix lab. I guess that's a science facility. Connector to the center brain. Used to produce matrices and research technologies. The more matrix labs, the faster production or research speed can progress. We seem pretty pretty fast though, right? I don't know what the hindrance to research has been. It really is like instantaneous after we get all the stuff. Okay, we are now producing we produced our first electromagnetic matrix on 5906. I guess we could race to that sort of thing. Okay, well, the research is going. We'll see. Maybe maybe this research will take some time and in that case it really doesn't though. It seems like it's going to unlock really really fast. So I don't know what the point is, but then again, the tech tree is there's a, there's more. That's for sure. Oh, here's where we build our mech. We can really 
increase our energy and everything. But I'd rather do more building unlocking. Okay, but we got the universe exploration veins distribution you assembly have machine. The universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner H. of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore veins. Now let's take a look. Uh, okay, detail display. Veins distribution. Oh. Okay, so it's like that. I mean, not that great, great, but okay. Space navigation. Anyway, we'll probably unlock more things. Our power is a little bit low again. Let me go over to the... Whoop. We can set waypoints, apparently. Uh, I don't know if we... Ah, yes, we can set multiple waypoints using shift. Nighttime. Always a bad time for... Energy. Oh, I shouldn't have hovered. That's really bad on the energy. Uh, so, yeah, coal. Coal. Now we're moving slowly, like we're over encumbered. This is like over encumbered in Skyrim. <laughs> Everything comes back down to Skyrim. Well, 356 coal and increasing, so. We've got all that. So, that hopefully will last us a while. I need better stuff, like I need uranium. I hope we can get uranium. Let's see, technologies. Well, that's basic assembly. A fuel, I mean, fluid storage. Water pump, I don't know. Plasma exciter. Crude oil, now, see, so there are animals around here, or there ought to be. Oh, I don't want crude oil. They always try to make you do fossil fuels when we should be doing like uranium and helium-3 or something. I want fusion, darn it. I've <laughs> We're trying to make a Dyson Sphere. We can't do that off of coal and oil. Solar collection. Well, now that's better. 200 science matrices. Main quest. Oh, this is the main quest line. So we go... So all that other stuff is ancillary. If you want to be horrible, you can do oil extraction. But um, here we have photon combiners, a solar sail orbit system. Well, okay, so this is where we need to go. But we need 200 cubes. All right, let's start churning out those cubes. Uh, we should probably get a production facility because if I do it 10 at a time, it's going to be too painful. So we will want the basic assembly thing jig. And we need a lot more gears. And then we can really get down to making science matrices. We're done with that. So now we have the assembling machine. Feel like I'm gonna need to feed out of the storage facility. But we'll, we'll set this over here right now. And the recipe I want is circuit board. I mean, we might need two then. We need a circuit board. And we'll need the other thing that is necessary. Gears. Uh, is it gears? Um, no, no. The electromagnetic coil, of course. Recipe, electromagnetic coil. Okay, so we're gonna need magnets. This um, arc smelter can produce magnets. And it looks like it needs iron ore for that. So we can probably sneak that by. Can it sort of. Oh, it's all going like that. We can't do a T-junction? Ah, uh, We can't do a T-junction? Well, I guess we can use one of these sorters to connect, maybe. 
Okay, now it's making those. Okay, we can connect it directly to the storage, so we don't need a... Okay, maybe we can get rid of this conveyor belt too then. Okay, well, we'll need to replicate more of those. You can now build Matrix Lab. Yes, I know, but I don't know whether I want to build a Matrix Lab. I wonder why these aren't going in here. Lack of material, but we've got some material right here. I don't know why it's lack of material when these are all stacked up here. I mean, I know we're funneling some over here, but... That shouldn't get in the way. Sit filter. Well, for now, I'm sure we have enough of those ingots anyway, so it's fine. All right. Well. We need the ingots. We don't. We have a lot of coal, but we need a smelter. Okay, maybe we can do some sort of reversal here. Okay, you change. You're gonna make copper ingots now. Oh, the old conveyor belt needs to have a direction change. Shoot. Great. Okay, now we've got copper ingots being made there. Okay, we're going to change this whole routing completely. Okay, power first. Okay. And we can probably conveyor directly into here. I think. But it doesn't seem to be taking the copper in anymore. Why? It doesn't like sending the stuff out and taking it in at the same time? From the same facility? Hmm. Well, maybe we can short circuit it by going from here, but it's a little bit weird. Why doesn't it just take it from that conveyor belt? Maybe I'll redo this sorter here. No, that, that side isn't moving at all. Oh, this sorter had the wrong stuff. We want copper ore. Okay, well, now we have to clear that belt. Okay, now are things moving properly? Alright, things are moving properly now. I think. Now they're still getting stuck. That's definitely ore. This sorter is definitely set to ore. Insufficient power, maybe. Lack of material, insufficient power. Well, alright, we'll need to make more power then. Okay, well, it still doesn't seem to be getting stuff from this one. It really just doesn't like to feed copper ore into that thing. Maybe if I get rid of this connection here. One way or another we'll 
get copper ore. No, it still doesn't like sending it. Okay, fine. Well, anyway, it's going to get copper ore and produce the copper ingots. And we've got plenty of copper ingots. Now we need to send the copper and steel ingots up to that assembling machine. And then the magnets over here, too. Uh, maybe we should just do it direct from the arc smelter. I don't know why I insist on going from that side instead of one of these other sides here. Um, let me see. Yeah, it always wants to go from that side. Let's get some power to them. Just behind here should do. Okay, and then yeah, another conveyor belt. I'm probably not doing this efficiently. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen, or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Planet view mode. Planet thumbnail. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, now it's producing the circuit boards. Good times. We've got lots of magnets. But the magnets will never get there like that. Um, let's undo that. Uh, this needs somewhere to stash those. Great. <laughs> well, that's a final product sort of thing, so we're gonna have a storage box. We need more storage boxes. Okay, and maybe a direct conveyor? Not possible. Okay, those circuit boards uh, going out. Just need this to get some... some of the copper, which is actually all the way over here, unfortunately. We got too much stuff really close together here. Okay, well, I've been at this for a fair amount of time for this video, so I'll continue this in a subsequent video and see where we get. Uh, at least it's not doing anything to frustrate me, so I'll say that for it. It's been fairly smooth so far, I've had to figure a few things out, but um, yeah, for the most part this is all very straightforward. I, I wonder how to... Well, there's the planet view. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button, drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the north pole. Okay. In the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Okay, now, but I have to get back. <laughs> okay, there we are. All right, so that's the view of our planet as it is. But anyway, I, don't know if there's a pause. They haven't really mentioned that, to be honest. Pressing P brings up this panel, which is interesting. It's got a lot of stats, doesn't it? Dyson Sphere. Apparently Solar Sail is important. Performance test. Wow. Okay. No any campfire. Well, we got those, yeah. Okay, anyway. So yeah, I guess escape is the way to pause it. There's no speeding up or slowing down or anything like that. It just goes at its own pace. But all right, so that has been my first taste of Dyson Sphere program. And with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.